hello everyone creative winners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and look at this beautiful design it's glossy it's looking beautiful so today we're gonna learn how to design this powerpoint slide so before moving further please subscribe to our channel join the membership so here you can click on the join button to join the membership and also you can watch all the videos here so we have got 700 plus beautiful powerpoint presentation slides you can watch these videos like share and you can download the templates from the g drive link provided in the video description so let's begin with the tutorial so we have placed our color palette here go to insert shapes then insert this shape here and place it like this And you can keep the height and width in the round figures like 2.5 and 4.3 or 4.5 and let's place it here and then duplicate it like um, five times or eight times or ten times it depends upon the number of steps you want to showcase now distribute this horizontally and increase the spacing between them and then distribute horizontally again and we can see there is still some space that we can leverage and then keep on distributing horizontally and you have to make sure these are placed edge to edge so you can adjust these manually as well And we can see there is still some space that we can use here so we can slightly move it further to the right and then again select all and distribute horizontally now bring it to front so from right to left you have to select each of this shape and click on bring to front so now in terms of layers the left shape is at the top and the right and shape at the right extreme right is at the bottom select all select no line now we will fill gradient color so let's pick our gradient color from the color palette fill same color on both the gradient stops and now select the first gradient stop go to more colors and make it uh, a bit darker and then use format painter option and then fill the same gradient color on all the shapes so this will help us in filling the gradient colors now we just have to use the color picker so fill the same color on both the green stops and on the first green stop make the color darker and follow the same step for all these shapes so this will save time make the color darker from the more color option so I repeat the steps again Fill same color on both the grid stops and then on the first grid top go to more colors and then make it darker by moving the slider down and now you can see the infographic or this business diagram has started taking its shape The steps are repetitive but with practice you can do it in a quick time meanwhile you can subscribe to our channel if you haven't and you can hit the like button as well so that way you can support us
also I have kept the uh, background white if you really need a pure corporate kind of design where white background is mandatory also you can design it in the dark background as well in the dark background it will look beautiful but it depends upon the kind of style you are using also you can try it in the gradient background as well if you need a very colorful kind of slide but the color has to match the overall color scheme of this slide So now we have removed the color palette from the top because we have filled the colors and now you can see it's looking really beautiful and it has some good color depth and once you are done you can adjust the colors move the sliders a bit and you can tweak the colors as per your requirements now insert this shape here and send to back and fill gray color remove its outline go to shadow effect and apply inward shadow this one and change the color to like light blue and increase the transparency a bit increase the blurness and then again select it align to the middle and then select all these shapes and group them all then align to middle so now we have both the grouped shapes and the background rectangle aligned to middle now insert this rectangle and place it like this as you can see on your screen make sure its height is up to the middle of the grouped shapes now duplicate the last last shape and once you have aligned it extend it from the left up to the beginning and select the rectangle and this shape and go to merge shapes and press intersect and you will get this shape fill white color and increase the transparency to like 50 to 70 percent and you will get this beautiful glossy look on this grouped diagram now select all these shapes in the background and go to shadow effects and click on this shadow and change the shadow color and then you can play with these options like increase the transparency to 80 percent and then you can change the blurness also you can increase the distance you want and this will make it look uh, kind of 3d and this will give this beautiful glossy and realistic kind of effect so the infographic design is ready now you can also fill the pattern in the background now go to shapes and insert this custom shape and then draw this line while holding shift key on your keyboard so this will draw a straight line now change the line color to gray or blue whatever you want also you can keep the color of the shape now insert this rectangle again and place it like this remove its outline and you can fill the shape color in this rectangle now go to text box and write the text or the step or the point you want to write so this is a 10 steps infographic so if you have 10 bullet points you can write those bullet points here some stats numbers anything you want to showcase so you can stylize the text like you can keep the number at the top then you can write heading also you can write subheading or description if you think the content is small and you can see I have changed the heading color to dark gray 
so that the focus is on the number increase the size of the number so I have used monster at font here now select all these items the text the rectangle and the line and group it together now we just duplicate it and spread it across infographic design So we have designed it in a way like the, the text will be at the top for the odd numbers and it will be at the bottom for the even numbers. So like 1st, 3rd, 5th, 7th and 9th will have it like this as you can see on your screen at the top. Make sure everything is well aligned. So select all these grouped items, go to shape format, align top, distribute horizontally. So now everything is aligned and now we have to change the color of these rectangles to match with their respective shapes. So it's easy, use the eyedropper tool and fill the color from the shape so this will save your time also this diagram is a very very you know smart way to present 10 points in a single slide so I have changed the numbers as well now select all these grouped items, duplicate and place it like this on the even numbers. So you have to manually place these. So once these are placed, flip these items vertically and now you can see the text is in the opposite direction so select all the text items after ungrouping the grouped items and go to rotate flip vertically and you can see it's back and it's looking good now we have to change the color of these rectangles again you have to use the eyedropper tool to change the color So I hope you find this business diagram easy to create in PowerPoint. The steps are easy. You have to place these 10 shapes, add gradient fill, shadow, then rectangle at the top to make to apply the glossy look, add one in the background with inward shadows, then apply these and add these text pointers. So if you summarize it, so so these are the five broad points that I've just told you. I can group the items again. So that way you can easily manage these text items. If you will keep all the items ungrouped, then it would be difficult to move the items or manage these items and make sure uh, you press send to back on all these text items so now the infographic design is complete I hope you like it and one last step is adding icons so I am adding the icons from the insert menu and icons come pre-built in Microsoft 365 version and you can place the icons like this and once all the icons are placed make sure you align them alignment is very important always remember that so let's take a look at the final output I hope you will like it so this is a beautiful business presentation slide it's white looking beautiful so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like hit share 
and you can download this beautiful site in the description we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye